Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There are quite a few updates which has come up recently and the most important one was regarding addition of one more variant of Astra missile. In today's discussion we will be covering all the updates related to the different variants of Astra missiles so let's get started. Astra MK1 is powered by a smokeless single stage solid fuel propulsion system that can propel the missile to a speed of Mach 4.5 and allows operation from a maximum altitude of 20 km. The maximum range of Astra is 110 km in head on chase mode and 20 km in tail chase mode. The maximum range is achieved when the missile is launched from an altitude of 3 km. When fired from an altitude of 2 km, the range of missile drops to just 44 km and when launched from sea level, the range further drops to just 21 km. Now the update is that Astra MK1 is being upgraded with new AESA seeker for higher accuracy and better resistance against electronic countermeasure systems. It is also undergoing improvements through alternate propellant casting. Improved propellant will increase the burn rate at terminal stage, thereby enhancing its no escape zone. Indian Air Force was supposed to get 248 Astra by end of July 2021. However, there are no news on this because Astra 1 numbers and squadron information has been kept confidential to keep enemies guessing as Indian Air Force still does not have enough Astra missiles for all its fighter jets. HL has already been working with integration of Astra missiles with Tejas. Sources has also confirmed that captive trials of the missile might happen in next few weeks that can include 4-5 to five rounds of test firing. For your information, captive trials involve the Tejas carrying under its wing at one of its hardpoint and inert missile. The missile with no explosive but simulating the real missile, which has not been electrically or electronically connected to aircraft's onboard systems. After the deployment of Astra MK1, several offshoot versions are being planned including the visual range imaging infrared homing missile tentatively classified as Astra IR with a maximum range of 80 km. The new update is that this missile will have two variants with no change in its dimensions but internal designs of the missiles will be different. The version 1 of Astra IR missile will feature thrust vectoring to perform higher G maneuvers at close range combat and have better boreshite angle. The second variant will be more advanced with dual mode seeker and will use both radar and infrared imaging for the terminal stage guidance making it more lethal with better kill probability. DRDO is only a short distance away from developing Astra MK2 which will have a longer range of 160 km and will be powered by a dual pulse solid rocket motor. Astra MK2 will carry forward most of the technology developed for Astra MK1. Astra MK2 is visually quite similar to MK1. It will use AESA seeker, the tried and tested wings, control, guidance and warhead of MK1. Its dual pulse motor will be of same length as MK1 but 12 mm wider than MK1. DRDO is optimizing the design for it. The trials of Astra MK2 are expected between 2021 to 2022. Back in March 2021, DRDO has tested solid fueled ducted ramjet SFDR technology successfully which will enable India to make its own long-range air-to-air missile which could mirror the capabilities of the best missiles in this class like MBDS Meteor. DRDO has also completed the ground trials of the booster and the ramjet propulsion system for short duration. The long duration test of the propulsion system is planned after which the missile will go for the captive flight trials followed by launch. However, the complete process might take 4 to 5 years of time unless some private players are involved in the process to further speed it up. As by the time it will be developed, China 
would have developed some PL-XX series missiles with range and lethality more than its longest PL-15 missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.